Welcome back friends to another The City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Lids87 here and today I am bringing you guys another Are They Worth It video. A series where I cover character characters on upcoming banners to see if they are worth your precious tickets and or gems. Before I get into it though friends, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And shoutouts where shoutouts are due. Run for the wonderful database, for the materia bot, and to the compendium, all those wonderful Links will be down below in the description if you would like to use these resources for yourself. On November 25th, UTC time, we will be getting a new character. And with this character, we got Sabin and Vayne. Vayne will be getting his costume again. Sabin and Vayne will be getting character boards. And this character is going to be Gladio. Gladio will be brought into the game. EX weapon, LD weapon, all that wonderful stuff. Synergy for this Sabin, Vayne, you will be able to get their EX weapons from here. And Kuja's burst will also be synergy for this event, and his burst is on this banner if you have yet to pick it up. So Gladio, what are his abs going to be bringing to Opera Omnia? So Gladio is an attacking tank-like character with massive brave healing to your party and HP healing over time. He is able to buff up your, your party member's stats while also debuffing the enemy stats. Just like Galoof, Gladio will be able to cover single target attacks for your allies and he has the capabilities to counter with his LD weapon. Now I will be covering Gladio's entire kit, I'm going to do my best to sum it up as much as possible, but for anyone not familiar with Gladio's kit, stay tuned, anybody else if you just want to skip ahead, there will be timestamps down below in the comments. Now something to keep in mind with Gladio is that pretty much everything that he does, all of his abilities will raise the party's brave based on a certain amount of HP damage dealt, but 20% or his EX ability is by 150% of his attack, so if I don't mention it, that is why everything he does Brave heals the party, alright? So his first ability, Tempest, this will raise his own Brave by 150% followed by a 4 hit AoE, Brave plus AoE split HP attack. Now the Brave potencies per hit for this ability is at 50%. If you are attacking a single target and with his character boards, this will increase single target damage by 70% Brave damage up. Now with, his, with all of his passives, this will further increase the Brave damage by 20%. Now this will grant him two stacks of Knight Shield and grant your allies Royal Guard. So Knight Shield, it is a 10 turn self buff that is on Gladio and it, it is a stackable buff. It can go up to 10 stacks. Now the way the stacks are increased are by using the, his ability or when he receives any form of attack, this will increase his stacks by one. Now what this is going to do for Gladio per, per stack is this will increase his max brave and attack by 4%, totaling out to 40%. This will increase his defense by 80% and this will also reduce Brave Damage Reduction by 60% and HP Damage Reduction by 20%. Now with his character boards this will further increase his attack by 10%. Royal Guard is the buff that he grants to his allies for 10 turns. This will, gi this will also give them that 60% Brave Damage Reduction and 20% HP Damage Reduction just bringing survivability to said allies. Not only that, with Royal Guard, Gladio will cover said ally, just like Galoof, any form of single target attack, he will take that damage for them. He'll jump right in front, his, his abs will take that damage for said ally. So just, just with Tempest, just with the buffs alone, survivability for your party in the form of less damage taken and him taking the damage for said ally. Now keep in mind, Royal Guard only covers single target attacks, so any form of AoE, your party members are going to feel that. But with the 60% Brave Damage Reduction, this will hopefully reduce the amount of damage they take, and if there is an HP attack, that will be reduced by 20%. Dawn Hammer, his second ability will raise his own Brave before the attack. 6 hit AoE Brave plus single target HP attack. The Brave potency for this will be at 40% per Brave hit. It is on the lower side, but if he attacks a single target with his boards, this will increase the Brave damage done by 70%, and with all of his passes, this will further increase the Brave damage done by 20%. Now, this will inflict a 40% max Brave down on all the enemies, and this will grant himself Crown's Guard Pride. Crown's Guard Pride primarily increases Gladio's own stats, so it will increase his attack by 40% and max rate by 50%. If you you have to have all his character boards, all his passes to reach this total amount, this will prevent any form of fatal HP attack if his own HP is above 50% of his own max HP, and this will grant him access to his Brave Attack plus 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 HP Attack plus 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 
if you have them at EX plus 3 out of 3, which you should have them at. At this point in the game, yes, EX plus 3 out of 3. And guess what? His Brave Attack plus 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 and HP Attack plus plus plus, they also Brave Heal the party. His EX Ability Maelstrom, it is three sets of four single target Brave plus HP attacks. Now, there is 20% HP splash with every single HP attack. So after every HP attack, at least the first two, this will rave Gladio's Brave by 20% of HP damage dealt, and the last HP attack will increase the party's Brave by 150%. Now the Brave potency for Maelstrom is at 100% Brave hit. This is a hard hitting attack, and with the passives, this will further increase Brave damage dealt by 30%. Now with Maelstrom, Gladio will grant himself two stacks of another buff called Warrior's Trial. Now Warrior's Trial is granted for 8 turns and max stacks is at 10. So just like Knight Shield, in order for him to gain stacks, he either has to use the ability again or he has to receive any form of attack. Now during this way, he will increase said stacks by 1. Now Warrior's Trial, it is a buff on Gladio, but it, it's an aura-like buff. It's going to affect the party. Now what this is going to do for the party, this will give them HP regen 2% per stack up to 20%. It, is, it will also increase their attack and stolen max rave overflow by 22%. That's on the first stack and anything after that will be increased by 2% per stack totaling out to 40%. Now if you do pick up his character boards, which you should be, this will further increase Gladio's attack by 10%. Now something to note with his realized EX weapon at EX plus 2 out of 3 when the quests start, he will gain access to Crown's Guard Pride for 6 turn and 2 stacks of Warrior's Trial. So his Dawn Hammer buff and his Maelstrom, his EX ability buff right at, right at the bat, right at the start of the quest. Now also, when it's Gladio's very first turn, he will have access to one free ability use. Use Tempest, use his free ability during this time so he can grant himself Knight Shield and his allies Royal Guard. So right, right on the first turn, pretty much all of his buffs are up except his LD ability buff. After maxing out his bonus sphere, you will gain access to a B-type bonus sphere. When the wielder receives an HP attack, this will raise the party's attack by 2% up to 5 times, 10% total party-wide attack his final ability impulse his ld ability he has three uses of this this will brave heal himself before the attack and it is an eight hit aoe brave plus aoe split hp attack now the brave potency for this is at 60 percent per brave hit and if there is a single target this will increase the brave damage by 60 percent this will also grant him to his ld ability buff called blink now Blink, it is active on Gladio for 3 turns. This will grant him 100% debuff evasion or elude, and this will also reduce HP and Brave damage he receives by 100%. He will negate any form of damage for those 3 turns. Now what Blink is also going to do for Gladio is that anytime he receives any form of attack, he will counter set attacks. Now he will heal his Brave by 150% of his attack before the actual attack. And this is a 3 hit single target Brave plus single target HP attack with 50% HP splash. This will also Brave heal the party by 20% of HP damage dealt. And the Brave potency for this is, is actually pretty good, 80% per Brave hit. Not only that, this will inflict knockdown on said target. Now what knockdown is going to do, it's a debuff for 8 turns that will decrease said target's attack and defense by 40%. So minus 40% to attack with this 60% brave damage reduction on pretty much on your entire party, this is going to help with survivability. And of course with the 40% defense down in a framed buff lets you stack other forms of debuffs on said target to further decrease said enemy's defense. Now this is a, uh, this is a nice LD ability buff, of course you get to counter any form of attack while negating every sin any type of damage that he receives. Of course keep in mind if you get cleansed, Gladio's screwed, right, because he's gonna, everything's gonna get, get removed, he's gonna take said damage. But also keep in mind that this is only for 3 turns, so you want to definitely plan around this. You don't want to be spamming this during the trash wave, so to say you want to save these for the actual boss fight and try to plan on using this. Uh, either when you want to start dishing out damage with Gladio, I mean, he's going to be dishing out damage already, but extra damage if you see the enemy has multiple back-to-back -back turns on the in, on the turn order bar, or if if you notice that your party member is about to take a beefy, beefy single target attack, then Gladio can negate all that wonderful damage 
counter while debuffing said target. All right, friends, so try to plan on using this again because Impulse only has three uses, so it's nine turns of countering plan around that. And finally, Gladio 7-star armor. This will increase Brave granted by 5% and held Brave and HP damage dealt. can exceed the, the cap 99,999 by 10%. Now, this this armor, it's, it's not a bad pickup for Gladio himself. Aside from the increase in Brave granted by 5%, the held Brave and HP damage dealt, it's only to himself, so... If you're looking for team-wide utility, it's not really here. Gao actually has that. I'm sorry I didn't do a Gao video. Bad timing and work got really crazy this week, guys. So I apologize for not putting that video out. But with Gao's armor, this will increase the party's attack by 5% and increase the party's held brave and HP damage by 5%, letting them exceed said cap. So again, if it's not a bad armor for Gladio himself, but if you're looking for for more party-wide utility, more party-wide increases, and if you have Gao, I would prefer Gao's over Gladius. But of course, just over time, we are going to get enough uh, t armor tokens for the 7-star armor, so it wouldn't be a bad pickup for the long run. Now, of course, with all these wonderful pros, there are definitely cons to Gladio. Now, to really take off with Gladio, he must receive attacks in order to gain stacks of Night Shield in Warrior's Trial. Of course, you can use set abilities to, to further pump up his stacks, so to say, but in in order to quickly get up there, you want to be receiving attacks. So you want to make sure you cover for your allies right off the bat by using Tempest, which you can do it for free at EX plus 2 out of 3 on the first turn. Also, please don't forget to make sure your, your allies have Royal Guard before you use his LD ability, because if you use his LD ability and they don't have Royal Guard, which is granted by using Tempest, he will not block for said for said ally if that other ally is being targeted. So hence hence Gladio cannot counter, and that is just a, a waste of uh, at least one turn for for a counter, so to say, or one turn of said buff. All right, so make sure your allies have Royal Guard before you use his LD ability. And also a huge thing to note is that Gladio he can only cover single target damage for an ally so when it comes to aoe damage your allies they will feel that damage so keep that in mind if there is a boss that spams a lot of aoe damage you might want to try to build a around for that so to say but he does have brave damage reduction in his royal guard for his allies even for himself party-wide 60 percent brave damage reduction on top of 20 percent HP damage reduction will help in terms of survivability for your party members. All right, friends, now we're at that part of the video. Are they worth it? Is Gladio worth your precious tickets and or gems? So first and foremost, there is no free multi-draw on this banner. No free multi-draw. It, it's on the slide, or at least it's not on the slide. So they always state if there will be a free multi-draw on said banner during the the Square Opera Omnia community live stream. So with that slide, there is no free multi-draw on this banner. All right, friends, so Gladio. Yes, Gladio is an amazing, amazing attacking tank-like covering character being introduced into the game. He has the ability to cover single target attacks, and if Blink is, is active, his LD ability buff, he will follow up with a counter after receiving an attack. Again, keep in mind that Gladio, he primarily excels at single target damage. So any form of AoE damage, uh, your party members are going to feel it, all right? So if a boss has a lot of AoE damage, plan around that because your party members will be exposed to that. But Gladio does provide some nice party buffs and stat increases to your party. And the primary ones being Brave Damage Reduction by 60% and HP Damage Reduction by 20%. Now this, on top of his HP regen from Warriors, Warriors Trial, is going to help in survivability in fights by reducing said damage, reducing HP damage, and if HP damage does get through, he will help your party just HP regen over time. And not, not only the HP healing, he also has Brave healing in pretty much everything that he does. So the, uh, so the Brave on your party members, the... The Brave Damage Reduction, and it's going to help just reduce the amount of HP damage your party members take. 
And also he has the capabilities to debuff the target with Max Brave down and with his knockdown with his L with his counter from his LD ability buff blank. He will reduce the target's attack and defense by 40%. Just on top of the brave damage reduction, he's you're, the bosses won't be hitting as hard and you will lower their defenses, which is, comes in handy in the Lufenia era. So at the end of the day, tickets, yes. Gems, apps of freaking lootly. Gladio is worth the pity. Even, even today, of course, with the proper team compositions on the JP side, Gladio is still used in the Lufenia era here and there. And also, his lost chapter hasn't been introduced just yet on the JP side. So when it does, when it is introduced, he will more than likely, he's going to be receiving LD extensions. I don't know about a rework. I think his kit is, ap I think his kit is fine, truthfully. But I'm sure with his LD extensions, it will further improve his own damage and possibly extend his counter buff. Maybe, I don't know, maybe five turns instead of three. We will see what happens once said lost chapter reaches the JP side. Also, Kuja's burst weapon is on this banner and this is the absolutely best banner to chase Kuja's burst weapon if you have yet to receive it. So either way, friends, this banner is worth your resources. I mean, even even if Gladio, if melee is resisted, just freaking enhance Gladio and imperil the enemy with some form of element and there you go, done. That is it for this video, friends. I want to thank you guys for watching my Are They Worth It covering Gladio. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you guys are going to be doing for this banner, your, your overall thoughts about Gladio. Me, personally, I am going to be using gems for Gladio. I want to guarantee myself that LD weapon. I used 400 tickets on the Gal banner. I didn't get the LD, but it is tickets, tickets. It's very, very up to RNG, all right? So I am going to go in with gems for Gladio, but... I hope that RNG is on our side because we have Lightning. She should be the next LD and Burst weapon. This is the last Kuja Burst banner. And Lightning is up next, which I will definitely cover in another video. And you must absolutely pick her up. But here, friends, for this banner, I will be using Gems to pick up Gladio. He is such a great unit to add uh, to your to your team roster and uh, for your team compositions. All right, friends. So. All that wonderful stuff down below in the comments. And until next time, friends, good luck and have a good one.